What's well, Kichi? Welcome back here again, my favorite video today. Thank you guys for everything. Just honestly, from the bottom of my heart, just thank you guys. This is kind of my 2018 recap video about what happened, but let's just say that this has probably been the greatest year of my life. I'm so grateful. I'm not still where I want to be with YouTube and stuff, but just everything that I've accomplished and done over 2018 has just made it probably the best year of my life. I'm so excited for 2019 of what I can accomplish and what we can accomplish together. 2018 was honestly the best year of my life. It, it was, it, it, it was. The year started out rough, I know. I didn't have a job for the first like four months of the year, so the first part of the year was rough. The first like fourth of the year was really rough. And then I got my job at Walmart and... May, I think it was, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was May. There was some more stuff where I wish I could have done, you know, maybe traveled a little bit, do all that stuff. I was actually planning to go to Sneaker Con at one point, but I never got around to it just because I started moving and stuff. If I went to move, I probably would have gone to Sneaker Con because I was planning on it. And then I ended up moving in October, which honestly, like, I don't know, it's probably my second biggest achievement in my life because moving out is a big, big thing. But graduating high school is probably a bigger achievement just because nobody thought I would do it because I was a retard. <laughs> also, guys, I'm really sorry. I'm actually still sick. It is so terrible. My throat is killing me, bro. Like, honestly, dude, I, ugh, it hurts so bad. So, yeah, moving out was the biggest thing I have done this year. And I went from 200 subscribers all the way up to 700 almost, which is another big thing. My goal was 2,000 by the end of the year because I was growing really fast at the beginning of the year, like, and everything. I was uploading daily, just grinding, dude. I'm so happy gaining 700 subscribers. And it means the world to me to everyone who actually hit the subscribe button, you know, at least watch one or two of my videos, gave my channel a chance. We're gonna make it one day, guys. Trust me, I'm not gonna stop this shit, or unless I work like a 12 hour job doing nothing. I hope my life doesn't come to that. If my life comes to work in a 12 hour job, I'm probably just gonna kill myself, cause yeah. No, but in all seriousness, guys, thank you guys for all the support recently. And I know I've been like switching up my content so much, but I'm honestly just chilling with what I'm uploading now. I'm just trying to make content where I don't feel stressed out and feel the need to, you know, just... Like, I hate having the feeling be like, oh my god, I have to edit. Dang, I don't want to edit. I love having the feeling of actually waking up and editing and just grinding. But 2018 is looking to be one hell of a year and looking to be a little bit better. And what means so much to me about moving out is, I don't know if many of you guys know this. If you guys follow me on Twitter, you might know this because I made a tweet about this. But I actually was almost homeless at the age of 14 with my dad and my sister. And to five years later moving out on my own honestly just means the world to me and it just shows what you can accomplish in life. I don't mean to make this video all corny and everything, but it's honestly true. Think about it. Going for homeless and then five years later moving on your own. It is, it, it, it's an amazing feeling. If you guys live on your own, you guys would know the feeling about moving out and about how much you feel like you've accomplished being able to support yourself financially and just take care of yourself. And I got my amazing girlfriend with me too. She means the world to me. We've been together for almost three years, so I mean... We're staying strong. I'm just looking forward to what videos I can upload and what we can accomplish together in 2019. I'm not going to have too many goals for 2019. Most of them are just social media. There's only one kind of real life goal. And it's what everyone does. Everyone just makes real life goals and doesn't keep them because we are lit. Lit human beings. The only real IRL goal is serve on the gym again. I used to be a meathead in high school. Like I used to actually just grind in the gym. My girlfriend's kind of making me get back into it, but I kind of have to. It's going to be better for me. The only reason I haven't yet is because we have two gyms in town here. One's a 24 hour gym and one's not. My girlfriend didn't want me to go to 24 hour gym because she wanted me to go to the gym together. But since she got a job, she works almost an opposite schedule as me. She works like 7 in the morning, 6 in the morning till the time when I'm almost at work basically. And then she just said go to the 24 hour fitness center just because I start, I, I, I gotta start getting in. And I'm gonna feel a lot less stressed actually going to a gym with no set hours compared to a gym that's only open for a certain amount of hours a day. And I know everyone and their mother says they're gonna start working out every single year. Eat better, work it out. But honestly, I'm gonna start doing it. I'm gonna make it. Honestly, I'm gonna start doing it. I'm gonna make myself feel a lot better by doing it. Dude, my throat is fucking killing me. My social media goes right now with 3,000 followers on Twitter and 1.5,000 subscribers on YouTube. And the reason why I picked that is because I wanna kinda double my fan base up in this whole next year. Cause right now I'm almost at 700 subs. Well, doubling would be 1.4,000, but you know, whatever. And I'm at 1,600 followers on Twitter, 1,700, so 2,000 seems like a good number. I'm not going to have any team goals just because they never stay put. And right now with my content, I'm kind of just trying to grow my personal brand. And with that, if you grow your personal brand enough, then teams will start offering you spots. Which is kind of what I'm focused on. I'm still going to be in teams just because I like the atmosphere of actually having homies to, you know, like grind with and stuff. But other than that... Not really grinding too much for a team. I mean, hype would be nice, you know, but whatever. But at this point, my content that I'm making now is not... 
Dude, can you hear my fucking cat? But right now, my content is not too like team friendly with like smaller teams, at least maybe the bigger high tier teams, but not too many smaller teams would accept my content. Reacting to rap videos and just doing all this other stuff that people aren't doing. No Call of Duty, no Fortnite, you know, all that stuff. I just realized this video is not even going up until the first. Wow, that's lit. <laughs> I was actually going to say, you know, at the end of the video, see you guys next year, but I just realized it's the 31st already. Fuck me. <laughs> but thank you guys for all the support over the course of the year. It really means a lot to me. It really means a lot to the guys who stuck around. You know, you've been my day one homie since the beginning, since I made this channel. Keep it up, guys. I don't know, numbers are a little bit down, but honestly, it happens. Do you think, you know, like, FaZe Rug started well with a million subscribers? And Rug started with zero subscribers. Everyone started with zero subscribers and just grew the fuck out. And just grinded and worked hard to make it a reality. He just started to turn into a little cringy. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> As one of my New Year's I to get a haircut. Because everyone's hammering on me to get a haircut. I'm my girlfriend. People at work are telling me to get a haircut. So I think I got it. I might have to get it, guys. I might have to. Things are also going to be getting a little bit stressful for the back end of the year. Because my lease runs out on this apartment. So we don't know if we're going to be staying in this apartment. Or we are going to. So we don't know if we're going to be leasing this apartment for another year. Or we're going to be moving out. She wants to move into a house. I don't know about that yet. I don't know. I don't know, guys. The house should be coming in the near future. I'm so excited for that, too. My cat. Can you stop? We got some decisions to make by the end of the year, but until then, we're going to chill. We're finishing this apartment next month, so look for the apartment tour this month, hopefully. I don't know why I said next month and this month, but it's going to be next month. It's going to be next year by the time the video is up, guys. Oh, my God. I'm going to take so long editing this video. Yeah, I'm gonna kill myself for that one. <laughs> I don't wanna ramble on too much. Thank you guys for all the support recently, man. It means the world to me. Thank you guys for an amazing 2018, my best year of my life, honestly. And I hope 2019 can be as good or even freaking better, guys. I'm so excited for the future, guys. Thank you for my new uploads. We're gonna be grinding, guys. Thanks for all the support. And as always, I always say, you can face an iPhone. Later.